the Roll of Honor was created after the 2006 race, the 100th anniversary race. We had a committee meeting here, Shorty Tremendum. We made sure that we spelled Honor, H O N O U R. Kurt Cooper, myself, and we came up with some names of, of the founder of the race, the rescuers of the Extraordinary 1932 rescue, one of the great stories down in history. And so, Sir Eldon Trivia. One of the rules is, is a Bermudian must be uh, elected to it with every second election. The next year, we elected um, Olin Stevens. People said, Olin Stevens comes last. I said, no, no. Olin Stevens, in terms of Bermuda race, is important, but nowhere near as important as the founder. Eldon Trivia re re revived it, and the Cosle, and Bobby Somerset, who saved all those lives. And uh, over the years, on, on this evening and the uh, Christmas party evening, I would have discussions with Warren Brown about this. Uh, remember last time I was here, two years ago, I said, would you like to be on the committee? And he said, yes, he would. Which, by which he meant he thought he had a candidate in mind. <laughs> and, um, and I certainly had a candidate in mind. And I'm afraid to say that I think time just passed. Um, I have several stories about Warren but I'll give one. But the last one I want to mention, which is that a year ago, my wife Leia and I went to New Zealand for Christmas to see some sailing friends. And we were in Blenheim on Christmas Eve, and we went to a very nice house. The men had some single ball, I think, so I went in to <laughs> test the single ball. Single. And all around the bar, there were sailing pictures. So I asked him about his sailing. And he said he'd done some sailing all around the world. He cruised in Scotland, a lot of cruising antipodes, but he also had once done a delivery from Miami to England, and they were beaten up in the Gulf Stream and suffered considerable damage, and they came into Bermuda, and they came into Hamilton, and they were in a lot of trouble, and this remarkable man came out. This remarkable man came forward and said, what can I do for you? He gave him an anchor, he gave him a mooring, and he spent days with him putting the boat back together, and he said, that was Warren Brown. This was Christmas Eve last year. And my guess is that we were saying a eulogy for Warren because he died essentially that day. And simply by coincidence, and uh, anybody in this room who knew him and his generosity um, to every sort of sailor, his hospitality to crews who were famous on, on the war babies, up in New York, he was in New York very often, uh, knows that that very much was the man. So uh, your committee, your selection committee, of the role of honor, H O N O U R, has <laughs> chosen Warren Brown for the uh, selection for this year. And let me read you from that. And in the news release, which has went out this afternoon, that Talbot Wilson wrote, it says that Warren Brown is chosen for the Bermuda Race Role of Honor because of his dedication to and 20 race participation in the Newport Bermuda Race, because of his lifelong commitment to close relations between all sailors, and especially Bermudian and American sailors and because of his sterling example of the consummate, as the consummate yachtsman and skilled seaman as he sailed the oceans of the world. Warren? There's so much my father accomplished in the sailing world over six decades, uh, both inshore and offshore, and later in his long-range expeditions to the Arctic regions on his war babies. This award is given, however, for his extraordinary achievements in the Newport Bermuda races. Uh, in this light, I think Dad will be remembered for his long-term co contribution to the race, both as a sailor who contributed to the development of the race, particularly in the area of safety and good seamanship, um, but also in, to the many young crew, men and women, who he took offshore under his wing. And in this respect, he was a leader in offshore sail training for young Bermudians when there was no national scheme in place. Anyway, he, he developed um, a taste for sailing. Um, earlier on as well. But it, it, together with the Trimingham's, he introduced the Onion Patch series to the, uh, the circuit, which was a, a great um, uh, accolade for him because he, he really saw what had happened in, in the UK. He sailed all of his boats in, in England, in fast nets and uh, admiral's cups. So we got a lot of, uh, he had a lot of experience and of course he, he shared that with the organizers of the before commuter race. Uh, he was always a competitor. He raced for the fun of it. The process was more important you know, than the result. And the fun was had by all and his many and varied crew. He was selected from Bermuda and internationally. 
He did win over 200 tra trophies during his life. In the Newport Bermuda race, he collected prizes in 1956, 60, 62, etc., all the way through to 1990. His cruising awards included CCA Blue Water Medal in 1988. His first offshore experience, Dad was very cautious. In my, my view, you know, I think what he did for the Bermuda race was he brought his caution, he brought his safety with him. He shared that with everybody. He, he really did. I mean, uh, we lost a man overboard in the 1989 Marion race. Um, and I was a watch captain, I was navigating at the time, and uh, we had a Chilean guy on the wheel, and he said, Oh, shit! I'm <laughs> <laughs> It was, uh, you know, Rockets and Hades, and you, you were going along, and, uh, you know, whatever, eight knots on the wind, we were flying about 25, and we, we got the boat turned around, and we got him back on board after a bit of crew work. But it was really Dad's test, I mean, it was his, his crew work, the crew work that was done was based from his training. It was, it was his, his uh, efforts. So thank you for that uh, award to my father. Thank you for having my family. Um, Dad, if he was here tonight, he'd be very happy to receive the award.